Okay, so I'm gonna do rock slide. So I'll do metal planks. Um, and then I'll join you for the service parts, Sommy. Yeah, okay. And pups, you're gonna do. You're gonna grab those upgrades that are lying around. Yep. And, and then, then you're I'll gonna do the wooden bridge. Yep. Cool. All right. Make my way over to the town. What up if it's not the handbrake off? That would help, yes. Normally does uh, in automotives, uh, personally. They go quicker without the handbrake. Certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> and they do kind of go eventually, but then it's a massive repair bill to, to replace that. You know what? I've noticed it's quite easy to get one two point damage when you're driving around at full speed, just keep hitting things. And before you yeah. know it, you've lost a whole ton of repair points. Yeah, if you're not, I wouldn't say if you're careful. Like sometimes there's like a, a, a dip in the road, isn't there, where your engine just for some reason gathers a point of damage. Well, like in Mud Runner, you could be driving along and you can hit something and instantly lose a massive chunk of the uh, status of your truck. Yeah. See, in this, because the repair points are different for each component, so in theory, you could trash a wheel and everything else would carry on. Yeah. I was having a look through the uh, the truck list in the store, and um, yeah, obviously there's some of them that are not on the American map, the Michigan map, and that kind of thing. They're on the Russian map. Yeah, I noticed that. There's like different vehicles for different places. Yeah. Now, whether you can take a Russian vehicle and you have it locked and bring it over here, I don't know. But then there's trucks that are locked by, you know, your level, like you have to be ranked 14 or something. And then there's certain ones that are, you don't get until you've discovered all of the locations on the map. So it's like literally end game content. <laughs> That haven't they published that it's 40 vehicles in total? Yeah, there's lots of them. There's so many. Yeah, which, you know, when they open it up to the modders and stuff as well, it's just going to be, you know, absolutely immense, isn't it? Well, all the mods seem to be done by mod.io, and if you go there, there was mods that are available already before the game's even yep. come out. Oh, really? Wow. So it kind of makes me think that you can take things from Mudrunner and port them over without too much difficulty. Which means, yes, within a week, there's going to be like hundreds a month. I'm just about becoming familiar with various parts of this Michigan map, but then we're going to go to a new location and I'll be completely lost again. Not the only one. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of detail in the map, though. Like even just the road surface and the vegetation and everything, it's just so much detail. At this stage, it doesn't feel like it's been sort of copy-pasted, does it? It does feel like they've been individually crafted and, you know, can't speak for the other ones yet. But it's a good start as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah, there's a lot of places to drive. Dangerous water level. What's that, the little puddle in the road? Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm just stopping off for some M&Ms. Yes, please. Okay. Two packs. If you're having two, I want four. Oh, oh wow. On the road. Greedy, mo. <laughs> I've noticed when you stop at the fuel stations, you can hear like a little radio playing. <laughs> Alright, let's figure out where I'm going. I'm gonna grab this trailer down here. 
thing is, if I um, it's like a an attached dolly type trailer. It looks like the one I've got on the back of my truck with the sides on, except it's a standalone with a, a dolly attachment. Right. But if I take this, like, will it unlock it, or can we just nick it and use it? Like, how does it work? Is that the one at the at the town service thing? Yeah. Oh no, that's the one that I put there from a um. When I brought a load of, you know, I did the wood load. And oh, the, you put it here. Yeah, I put it there. Yeah, so oh. that's for us to use. Yeah. Fair enough. Not it's nicked. You know, you know, I dropped it off there, ready to take the road over to the, the Smithfield Dam Gateway thing. Right. Yeah, I remember. I remember you sort of said, "Oh, I'll drop this outside somebody's house." I guess that was it. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> You know, when you're in single play, you can skip time, but when you're in multiplayer, you can't. Oof, one point of damage. Yeah, there's a big trailer here full of stuff on the back. Just for a mission. Flatbed semi trailer. I need, a, I need a fifth wheel for that, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so I need to take the other part of this job. Rock slide, service, service spare parts from the factory, but you were saying I can get this from the other map now? Yeah, because we're we're trying to do we're sort of doing two missions at once, aren't we? We're doing the not a drill, and we require an oil rig drill, uh, which is in Smithfield Dam, which I've already scouted forward, and and you can get the service parts from the same place where I've got to pick the oil rig drill up from. So if I go through onto Smithfield Dam, I can get the the service part for the rock slide. Yeah. All right. So if I so actually, what I should do is I should recover this truck, shouldn't I, and then spawner at the other garage yeah if you want to do that that's, an, that's one way of doing it right cargo management service uh, part wait I don't need two do I not that I'm aware I think we need one for this job Cool, new engines available. Wow, you're doing a wheelie? Yeah, got to get the torque converters working, haven't you? Pops, can you check the rock slide mission on that, on the location yep. where you are? Um, is it one or two service parts it needs? One. One, okay. Yeah, and it needs one metal flank as well. I've done the metal. Oh. Splash, for no reason. Can't oh, beat old school trucks. I can't admit, I'm, I'm quite liking this fleet star. I mean, I'm looking forward to driving some others, but this is pretty, pretty nice at the moment. I think the fleet star is pretty versatile. Turning left. You get in that other truck, it's a road only truck, and it gets bogged down so easily. What doesn't get bogged down is my monster ooh, trap. Oh, 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 break, 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 <laughs> sorry. Basically, I come down that hill and my front wheels were lifted off the ground, I couldn't <laughs> steer. Well, you know, tall converter in. Well, that's obviously the weight of this trailer as well. Does this look pretty impressive on your screen as I load? Do you know what I don't like? If you back off the throttle, you don't freewheel, you kind of... It kind of breaks. Yeah, and it sort of takes the gears out as well, doesn't it? Well, I suppose you could put it into... put the clutch into neutral, I guess. I just damaged my suspension a bit, then. 
Yeah, one of those tiny puddles. Oh, it can't turn. Oh, that was damage. And so much damage that my trade is disconnected. You get your license off a back of a uh, packet of cornflakes or something. Yeah, maybe. This is going to be fun if I can't turn this truck with this load on. Right. Travel to Black River. Here we go. I guess that it can only hold a map so big in memory, doesn't it? Uh, that didn't go well. What did you do? It sounds like I may have spawned yes, inside somebody's truck. Um. Well, a lesson just got learned then. When you um, go through from one location to another, leave a leave a big gap because otherwise you'll spawn inside each other's truck. But I'm surprised that's not a no collision box. That's yeah. Um What's your can truck? Can you just Mine's on top of yours at the moment. What? Mine's my truck is underneath your truck. I've driven off. No, not on my screen. Yeah, I've driven off. <laughs> so you survived that then? It's yeah. my trailer. Um, your, tra your trailer's there, but you're not. Right, okay. Let's recover to the garage. <laughs> I wonder if, if my trailer... Is the load still on the trailer? I don't yes, see it is. See that, if you come it? back through the, oh, it? through the tunnel, it should still be there. Right, so I've recovered to the garage. New engine and everything. That was weird. That was yeah. really weird. See, I think that should be a no collision zone, though. Like, a bit like when you spawn in a garage. So did nothing genuinely happen to you just then? I think the game's gone a bit weird. So it doesn't know I'm on the map anymore. And if I say go to player in the map, it doesn't know where I am. Yeah, I think you're in... Some, I think I brought you back to Smithville. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone right now. I'm Your gonna truck... Go your truck is still on the Smithfield side. Hmm. On my screen. Are you anywhere near the teleport at the moment? I'm going to go and see if I can deliver the goods, and then I'll recover the truck, and it should catch up with itself. If I can't deliver the goods, the, I'll have to drive back or something. The carcass of your truck was... Oh, yeah, my trailer's in the air. Wow. Okay. Leave you two alone for five minutes and you break the game. Oh, no, it's caught up. Hang on. Yeah, right. Maybe, no. Ooh. <laughs> I have to admit, you're making me giggle listen to you to try and figure out what's going on. <laughs> right, I'm back in business of rolling. It's not quite Stormworks level of janky MP, but... You get that? I've oh, been promoted! I'm level 5! Oh yeah! We've got ourselves a passing here. Right, so... I've got this... Am I going in the right direction? Okay, I'm just going to recover this. Maybe that'll catch up with itself somehow. Get the upgraded engine. Oh yeah, race suspension, upgraded engine, let's go! Right, so you know your special route from the lumber yard to the delivery site? Uh, the lumber yard to the delivery site, yes. Are you going to head that way and meet me so you can guide me across and possibly we'll do a double truck across the possible difficult bit? Because I'm, I'm feeling I'm not going to get more than two feet with this trailer. Okay. So shall I meet you at the lumber yard? Uh, yes, I'll head over there. Paul, do you want to jump into my um truck a minute and see if it's there uh, for you? Okay. Let me teleport to another truck. There go my car's free. Alright, so what do you want to do? Um, what truck is it? It's uh, 36, 39 Marshall. It's on top of the hill where the windmills are. Just. Yeah, Wait a minute, what do you want me to do? Is there an upgrade there for you? 
Yes. Okay, it wasn't shown for me. Uh, not available for current truck. Race suspension kit. Show truck list. Chevrolet CK 1500. Yep, ready is available for purchase. Thank you. Right. So the host has to do some of that stuff, like not everybody can do it. Well, it, it was strange. I could see it on the map, so whether I could have done it as well, I don't know. Yeah, like the last one in, in the big rock in the middle, I couldn't see that, but when I got close it appeared. This one, it didn't show up at all. Oh, I just took out someone's mailbox in the town. Well, I guess their Amazon deliveries aren't going to happen. They have Amazon in the 50s. You said this was set in modern time. I said I didn't know whether it was set in modern times. Sunset is upon it. This game's always been way more difficult at night. It's just the visibility is horrendous. When you go off road through the forest and it's nightfall, it's just unbelievably difficult. Because the lights on the trucks aren't that great. Although some of the upgraded ones with the uh, lights on the roof, they really, really help. Yeah, I haven't put any lights on any of mine. Yeah, right. I'm at the lumber yard at the storage shed. So. Well, I'm on route. Okay. With my upgraded engine. And upgraded wheels and upgraded suspension. It's a whole new truck. Same tyres, but I've got bigger wheels now. And a higher suspension, so. Seems to help quite a bit. I've been gliding through terrain. Yes, yeah, so I'm here at the lumber mill. Um, what is it you've got on board? The drill bit? Yeah. I could grab some lumber while I'm here for that wooden bridge. Some planks. How are we doing so, this then? You're going first. <laughs> Following the expert across. Since you've already successfully done this trip two times. Yeah. Um... Oh, Pups is behind us. Oh. Are you here for the wood? Oh, uh, yes. I just picked it up. But then. I think you just picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I still thought you were getting the upgrade. Splashing in water again, pups. Yeah. Take that tra trailer looks quite cool, so we... Yeah, it is a pretty cool combination. Yeah. I'm a bit I'm worried about what this next bit's gonna entail though. Well at least we know how to winch to each other now. Yeah, that's true. Thanks. Thanks for the light, pups. <laughs> yeah, can do. It's not going to hurt. There you go. Do you need to winch or anything? <laughs> I reckon I can walk up there faster than this. Um, not with that on your bike, you can't. Maybe diff lock required as well. Oh, you need diff lock up here in low gear. 100%. Yeah, not going well. There you go. I'm on you. <laughs> So is this a push and a pull? <laughs> it looks like yeah. it. 
Just... Yeah, front wheels off the ground. Yep, not helpful. Yep. <laughs> You've gone sideways. You need yeah, to be I over here. I, I cannot steer. The wheels have just gone. <laughs> I'm wondering where you're going. <laughs> That's not good. Literally, as I came up that hill, I had no front steering. Uh, you're going to... Stick into a telegraph and pole if you're not going. Let me try and pull you round. That's okay, I took the divert route. I'm back, here we go. I love the way he punches the horn. Well, that was a tricky bit. The rest is fairly easy, to be honest. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, I've got an upgrade in the bush to the right. Um, I'll grab it, I can see it. I'm sure I got us that upgrade already. I'm sure you did as well. I'm pretty certain you've already got it. Now when you drill that, when you take that drill bit in there, it's really deep mud. Yeah, he, he knows I'm not behind him and we'd be halfway up the hill, right? <laughs> He knows that, right? <laughs> He's just driven off, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I'm just dropping some stuff off here. Assuming this is actually the place to drop it off. Uh, that's where you activate it, and then you have to go down a tiny bit more to drop the stuff off. That's a bit silly the way that works. You need a pulse. I was just waiting for the where the right place or the best place to go is. Yay! Right, come back now. So I've now got a wooden bridge. If that's what you want to call it. Yeah, yes. it's a bit makeshift, isn't it? Can I go sort of this way across the telegraph poles and between the two buildings or not? Um, to be honest, the, the entry is this way really. It's only the last bit here where it gets muddy. You probably want to just cut across this bit and then it gets really muddy. And you're stuck. No, two tree stumps. Uh, two tree stumps that I didn't <laughs> see. There's some weird mathematical deformation going on near me here. <laughs> so yeah, you just need to get yourself into that box there, but... Oh yeah, that looks like fun. <laughs> if I was you, I'd stay on the right side of the box here. Because the left side is very deep. Yay! Wow, did you see that being built? That was a very oh. quick animation for me. It just lasted half a second. No. Wow. Nice. Right, so the rig semi-trailer. I wonder if I can do it without whether I need to swap saddles or whether this one that I've got is good enough. Oh, high saddle is required. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean we've just we've done that now. We've done all the objectives we wanted to do. Just need to work out what we're doing next. Do you want to finish this not a drill? I thought we had, haven't we? No, we've got to go and get the construction rig semi trailer now. Oh man. I'm going to leave this semi-trailer that I bought here because I, I can't be bothered to tow it back at the moment. So that's the one over at the factory? Yeah. Um, that, needs a f that needs a fifth wheel, doesn't it, to get the semi-trailer? Yeah, that's what I've gone to go and change into. Okay, so you're going finishing that off? Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the route in again, but... We'll see, because I'll probably come over that wooden bridge. Uh, so which route are you going to take then? Well, I've got to go and pick it up from the factory, right? 
Yeah. And then if I drag it back down, so from the factory, tarmac road, continue on the tarmac road, where it goes, um, there's some electricity pylons, perhaps take the right there and then do that hairpin bend through the marsh, up and over, over the wooden bridge and into the site, maybe, unless you yeah. think there's a better way. That looks good. Because the other route is obviously to drag it all the way on the main road, back to the lumber mill and go in the same way that we then took that other load in. Which seems like a long way. It's whether we can, whether I can make that corner with the trailer on or not really, that hairpin. Some of the missions on this map we can't do anymore, like you have to be rank 8 to do them. Oh really? Yeah. Like Dyson Diesel, out with the old, you need to be rank 8 to complete it. Oh, okay. Well, there's plenty of missions to be done in the Husky Forward at the moment as well, isn't there, so... Yeah. And we've done all the steel ones, Dyson ones. We're, we're doing what we can, and then there's Husky Forwarding. Let's, um, I'll get over to the factory then, unless you want to go, it's up to you. No, you can do that, you've got the, the kit for it, so I'll just um, deliver stuff to um, well, there's a few we can do actually. Deliver to the warehouse in Smithfield Dam, two cargo containers. There is one thing that you could do, which is the motel woes. I've already dragged the trailer halfway. Um, but on the road to the entrance to Smithfield Dam, there's a, a curtain side trailer. It just needs to be hooked up and dragged to the motel in the town. For which mission, sorry? Motel Woes. Oh, is that a task? I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah, sorry, it's a task, not a contract. Motel Woes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So whether you could incorporate that into something that you're doing. Well, if it's a trailer, I can't drag it easily, can I? Well, I need a fifth wheel, or is it a dolly? Do you no, know? It's, it's, a, it's a dolly. Okay, well, I can get that one and get over there then. Wait, the drowned heavy truck? That's the one you did, pups. Why is it not showing up as done? I did two, and then that one appeared. I'm at it now. What, the one at the farm? Yeah, it's up on the mountains in a lake. Oh, yeah, okay. This would be the third one I've dragged back to the farm. <laughs> There's that one that's that one that's buried in all that water. That's going to be tricky. Got the barrel kicking to do. Find and deliver to the factory four drilling spare parts. Well, we know where they come from now. Yeah, and once... Like, that, I don't think that's too difficult, especially if, like, the three of us get the saddles and the trailers to drag it across there. Service like, Or two, two of us could do that in, a, in, a, in two runs, you know? Yeah. I'm going to get the spare parts from Smithville and drag them over for this mission at Boatman's house, which is... Yeah, I can do two missions in one go here, I reckon. Noise. Yeah, I'm going to get some service spare parts and uh, drop them off. How many did you need? One or two? Two. But I can do right. And then you can hook the curtain cider up on the way past as well, then. Yep. If you're going to take that route, that'll, be, that'll go well, then. Yep. Two missions in one go, I reckon. I will warn you that curtain side trailer is a big one. It's an eight axle, not eight axle, four axle dolly. Um, it's quite a heavy trailer, but you should be able to tow it. Done your engine upgrade, haven't you? I've got a super engine and super wheels now. Yeah, night time just makes this game harder. <laughs> yep. I like how the lights work now, though. They seem to be more realistic in the way that lights would work in this sort of terrain. Yeah, it works pretty well. Rather than just like a flood of light in the front of your truck, it, you know, on previous variations. Indeed. 